Hello, it's John from Oswin Music. Okay, what was playing there, tequila, um, which I could do a, another lesson, um, is just basically showing some A-shaped bar chords. We've done E-shaped bar chords, remember? The previous lessons, and hopefully you've been following this logically through, been good boys and girls, and been doing it uh, logically from uh, all the way one, all the way up to 13, we're doing these appendices, Lessons of uh, of of done them as thirty A, thirty B, thirty C. They these are basically going to be more resources that you need to know, i.e., the bar chords to break on through to the next level of playing and becoming a musicianship. Bar chords are used all the time in every song, so they are ubiquitous. They are used everywhere. Okay, you need to know your bar chords. You when you're playing your open chords, C's, G's, and D's. That's fine. But when you encounter things like F sharps and B flats, that's when you've got to get into bar chord territory. Okay, so uh, this is all new to you, uh, and you've got you've been got your open chords into your belt. We need to learn the, the these systems, and hopefully you've done the E shape, and that's making sense. So here's the A shape. So it derives just like the E shape was E and E minor, and moved up the the E shape minor. You do the same with the A shape. You've got the A. And you've got its minor equivalent, okay? And you're playing the note from there. The root is from the fifth string, the A string. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears, remember? Okay. Now, if I was to refinger the A chord like this, so I can free up my bar, my first finger is a bar, a bar chord, which I don't need to, because the nut, this thing here, functions as the bar for me. But if I do that now and show you that, when I move it up, I have to do that. Now this is like my nut, the bar, and I'm taking the, the root note from this fifth string. Okay, so first of all, we need to know the notes on this string, which you should know anyway, because uh, I've done these this in, in other lessons. And if you know about the chromatic scale, there are how many notes are there? There are, you're all yelling at me, 12. Good, that was deafening. And uh, if we start from the open A, a, A sharp, B, B flat, B, C, no sharp or flat, remember, C sharp, D, go on back, it's D flat, D, D sharp, go one up, it's E, go on back, it's E flat, E, F, no sharps, uh-uh, no sharps or flats, F sharp, G, coming back, G flat, G, G sharp on the 11th, Go to A, A flat. Now, if that was a bit of a flyby, but I'm not going to go over it again because, again, if you've been all good boys and girls and gone through all the lessons, it will make sense to you. Uh, please do that. Go through all the lessons and that will all make sense from 1 to uh, 30. Uh, a, Bs, and Cs. Right, so going back now to this A shape, I'm taking the root from there, A, and it's A minor. That would be A sharp. Taking the root from the fifth string, let me just zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, I'd, I'm, when I'm doing this to operate this, I'm just putting my finger again, I'm not barring it, and letting the fi these fingers take up. Okay, and I go to A sharp minor because it's A sharp, remember A A sharp. If I go to the next one, taking the root from here, it's B and B minor. Okay, go to the C. C minor. And if I was to carry on doing this crazy shape the way that it gets a little really cramped and you don't see many people do this. I had to show you this way first to show you how it derived from the chord. Okay, you can see the A and the A shape. That's what we But what we do guys and gals, we do that. We bar with our third finger. So we take the bulk of the chord from there and we just play and we just press with our first finger on the fifth. Tequila, remember? So what I'm doing is, and I'm playing the middle four. So I'm taking the root from here, so this is A, A, A sharp, B, it's a C chord. 
Just to prove that, by the way, I'll play C chord, listen to it, it sounds the same ish. Okay? So, but you don't play the, the sixth string, you just play the middle four. Okay? And then when you play its minor version, that would be C minor. You're with me? Now, if I, let's move it up one more. If I went from C, that'd be C sharp, remember? Okay. And there's the C sharp chord, and it's C sharp minor. Okay. And if I go up one more, that's D, D major. I'll prove it, look. It's D, it sounds the same, see? And D minor. So that's how you play. You've just got to practice putting the finger on the root note and barring with your third and you need to press down in the middle of the neck and play the middle four. And these are called A-shaped chords. Okay, um, the next couple of lessons I'm going to combine all the E-shape and the A-shape systems together so it'll make sense. Uh, and uh, we're going to go into a little bit more, a little more depth. So uh, I'll see you soon. It's Johnny O signing off. Peace. Oh, while I'm here, just a few thanks to some people uh, who've been following me. Uh, Johan from from Sweden, really, really thanks. Lots of thanks. Um, Licks and kicks. Uh, Dave, um, Dennis. Um, who else? I love guitars and. Uh, Fender Brian, and uh, a few more I'll, I'll, I'll mention in the next, uh, uh, next lessons, but all you guys have been great to me, uh, and listen, supporting us along the ways. Peace. Love you guys. Peace.